Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix any crashing or freezing issues that you might be getting in Marvel Rivals. So you'll need to go through each of these solutions to find the one that works for you. And the first thing we need to do is launch up the Steam application, click on library at the top navigation, and then locate Marvel Rivals from your list of games. Then we're just going to right click on the game and select properties. In the general tab, make sure enable the Steam overlay while in game. Make sure this feature is turned off and then click on installed files from the left hand side. From here click on verify integrity of game files and then just wait a few seconds while that checks for any corrupted or damaged files. Once you've done that you can try launching the game to see if that fixes your issue. Now if that's not working the next thing you'll need to do is head over to your start menu, search for run and then click on the run icon. From this window type in percentage sign local app data percentage sign and hit enter. Then scroll down until you see the marvel folder and we're going to double click on this. Then click on saved and then double click on crashes. Now if you have anything inside of this folder you just want to make sure you delete everything so you can press Control A on your keyboard to select everything and then just right click and select the trash icon. Once this folder is empty you'll also need to empty your recycle bin so just come over to your desktop and make sure to empty out your recycle bin. Now once you've done that the next thing we need to do is ensure that our drivers and our system is up to date. Now to do that click on your start menu and search for settings and then click on the settings window. From the left hand side select window Windows update and just press this check for updates button to ensure we're running the latest version of Windows. If there are any updates here then install those now and then you'll need to restart your computer. Next thing we're going to do is head over to the start menu, search for device manager and click on the device manager window. Come down to display adapters and expand this drop down and from here you need to locate your graphics card. Now I have two graphics cards, I have an integrated and also a dedicated graphics card but the one that I use for my gaming is this Nvidia card. So what you need to do is right click on your graphics card and select update driver and then press search automatically for drivers. If it already says the best drivers are installed for your device then you may need to install the drivers manually. Now to do this it depends on what graphics card you have installed. So if you have an Nvidia graphics card like myself then all you'll need to do is install the official Nvidia app and then we can open up the application, click on drivers from the left hand side, make sure you have game ready driver selected and then you can download the drivers directly from this link here. If you have a different graphics card then you'll just need to search online for the latest drivers for your particular graphics card. Now once you're fully up to date the next thing you need to do is head over to your start menu, search for settings and click on the settings window. From the left hand side select system and then select display. Scroll all the way down and select graphics and from these list of applications you should see Marvel Rivals in this list. Now all you need to do is click on it like so, click on options and make sure you have high performance selected here and then press save. Now if you don't see Marvel rivals in this list you can always add it by clicking on the browse button and then you'll just need to navigate to the marvel games launcher once you've followed all of these steps you can then try launching the game and that should have now solved any crashing issues you were having if it's still not working then what we're going to do is actually just launch up marvel rivals once you're in the game you need to click on the settings icon in the top right hand side click on settings and then select display First of all, you want to make sure display mode is set to full screen. This will actually help a lot with crashing or freezing issues. Then come down to super resolution mode and we're going to change this from quality to balanced. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to V-Sync and you want to make sure this is turned off. Then scroll down to the graphics settings and we're going to change the graphics quality to medium. You can actually try reducing this further but it will affect the graphics quality. So I'd recommend starting with medium. Once you've changed all of these settings, just press apply in the bottom of the screen screen and press confirm. Once you've done that you can head over to a game and that should have now fixed any issues you were having. If you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.